In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your Premiere project so that you can streamline your edit and work faster. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for today's bonus filmmaking tip. All right, filmmakers, let's get real for a minute. How many of you have loaded your Premiere project only to discover that there were files missing? Or you exported your final file and then spent the next 15 minutes trying to figure out where it went? Or you sat there sifting through three different autosave folders looking for an older version of your project? Well, you guys are in luck because today we're going to get you organized so that you never have to do any of these things again. Here's a little secret. Most professional editors have one thing in common, and that is they're uber organized because as we all know, time wasted is money wasted. Additionally, productions often have more than one editor working on a project. And when you pass the project off to the next editor, you want to make sure that he or she can find everything they need or you're going to be getting a frantic call from them at 3 a.m. So today I wanted to show you how I and many other professional editors organize their Premiere projects. This is a system that I and many other editors have used in network television and it can help you stay organized so that you don't waste time wasting time. So let's do it. First, before you even open Premiere, let's organize your drive. It's important to do this first so that once you open Premiere, you can point your project to the folders that you created on your drive. Also, I recommend using an external drive with a fast connection and a fast transfer speed for all of your video projects, not your computer's desktop. Also, I recommend having an additional drive that you can use as a backup. So you'll have two identical drives in the case that one goes bad. Okay, so first on your drive, you're gonna make a folder that contains everything for your project. And I mean everything. On a Mac, you can make a new folder quickly by hitting Shift Command N. So for purposes of this demo, I'm gonna pretend that we're starting a video project for a yoga instructor. So I'll call my main project folder Yoga Promo. But obviously you call yours the name of your project. Then inside that folder, let's make two folders. Let's call the first folder zero finals. This is where all of your final exports will go. I'm putting a zero before the word finals so that when you sort the contents of your drive alphabetically, this folder will always rise to the top. This zero thing is an old editor's trick and we'll use this trick inside our project as well so it's easy to make the important stuff pop to the top when you're in a hurry. Okay, so let's call the second folder premiere. This is where you're going to put every single file that you need for your project. It will include your Premiere project file, your source video and audio files, and your cache and render files. Everything. And inside the Premiere folder, let's create two folders. Call one audio and one video. And in the audio folder, let's create three more folders and call them music, sound effects, and voiceover. Because you want to keep your music, sound effects, and voiceover files organized in their own folders. Then in the video folder, let's create two subfolders, graphics, and shoot. So obviously my graphics files like animated titles or Chiron will go in the graphics folder, and the shoot folder will hold all my video shoot footage. Okay, so on my desktop, I have two files here that I'm using for this yoga video, an audio file and a video file. So I'm gonna stick them in their respective folders. The video clip will go in the shoot folder, which is inside the video folder, and the music track will go in my music folder. Okay, so now your drive is organized. Let's open Premiere. I'm using Premiere version 15.2. If you have an older or newer version, yours may look slightly different. So on the main welcome screen, let's select new project. And in the next dialog box, we're gonna make sure your Premiere project is only referencing that Premiere folder that you created on your drive. So for the name field here, write your project name. I'm calling mine Yoga Promo. Then for the location field, hit browse and navigate to your drive project folder and the Premiere folder inside of that. 
highlight the word Premiere and hit Choose. You don't have to open the folder, just highlight it and hit Choose. All right, so the last thing we're going to do before we hit OK is to click on the Scratch Disks tab. And make sure that every single field says Same as Project all the way down to the bottom. This will ensure that all of your additional Premiere files, like Autosave and Preview files, stay in your Premiere folder. Now hit OK. All right, so we have our fresh Premiere project open. And everything is pointing to that Premiere folder on your drive. Well, almost everything. There's one more setting we have to change before we bring our footage in and organize the project panel. At the very top of your screen, above the Premiere window, go to the Premiere menu, Preferences, and scroll down to Media Cache. Cache files, for those who don't know, are basically additional helper files that Premiere creates for each clip when you import your audio or video. Premiere reads these files when you're playing down your clip or your sequence. And in essence, the cache files help the program play everything down smoothly. So we want our cache files to be in the same place as everything else. So let's hit Browse and select your Premiere folder. You don't have to open the folder, just highlight it and Premiere will create a folder inside. If you get the Delete Media Cache Files dialog box, select Delete Unused Media Cache Files and hit OK. This is basically just telling the system to get rid of old unused media cache. We're starting a new project here, so you presumably don't have any at this point. Also, if you have other projects on your drive that you've been working on, you may want to keep that old cache folder. But if you don't, I usually just just delete the old one to keep everything fresh. All right, so all media cache locations point to your Premiere folder now, so you can hit OK. Now you're ready to organize your project panel. First, let's create two folders by hitting the bin icon in the lower right of the project panel, or hitting Command B on a Mac or Control B on a PC. If your second folder is inside the first, drag it out by selecting it and moving your cursor to the gray area below it, and then letting go. Let's call the first folder zero sequences, again using a zero so it rises to the top when you sort alphabetically. And we'll call the second folder footage. And in the footage folder, we'll create the same folders we created in the Premiere folder on your drive. An audio and a video folder. And inside the audio folder, create three more folders. Music sound effects, and voiceover. And in the video folder, create a graphics and a shoot folder. Okay, so we're done creating folders. So for now, the only footage I have is one video clip and one audio clip, which is a music track. So I'll import these two files into the corresponding folders by double-clicking the Shoot folder and selecting the video file, and double-clicking the music folder and selecting the audio file. Also, just FYI, if you need to select multiple files, hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. All right, let's do a quick little edit here of our yoga promo for this demo. So quickly, I'm going to drag my video file down to the timeline and create a sequence, which I renamed to Yoga Promo and drag up to my Zero Sequences folder. Next, I'll add a little music and some fades. export my final pretend yoga promo. Now, the last thing you want to do is always make sure you're sending your final renders to your zero finals folder on your drive. And you do this by clicking on output name and navigating to your zero finals folder. Then you hit export and boom, 
your one clean organized editing machine. So let's just quickly check your drive here to make sure it's all there. We have our final export in our zero finals folder and we have all of our preview, autosave, cache files, and our main audio and video files in the Premiere folder. Organized and efficient, an editor's dream. All right, folks, that's it. We still have time for a tip, so let's do it. So today's tip is a simple one, and that is always label your main folder in all caps. Why? Because all caps stands out. All of your other files will end up being a mix of upper and lowercase letters, as well as the secondary folders that Premiere creates to hold your autosave and cache files. So make your main folders, the ones that you'll be referencing the most, stand out with the old all caps trick, which really isn't a trick. It's just easier to read. All right, friends, hopefully this tutorial gets you a bit more streamlined when it comes to editing in Premiere. While you're at it, be sure to check out my other Learn Premiere in 10 Minutes video where I break down everything you need to know about Premiere in 10 minutes. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.